Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Personal Points plan. It is Friday, so happy Friday friends. It is a weigh-in day. We're going to go over the WW workshop topic. I'm going to share with you how my second week or my first full week was on the new personal points plan and we're just going to chat all about our week, the topic, and of course I'll be sharing my weigh-in. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up and if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. We do this weigh-in thing every single Friday. Check out the description box down below for my four recipe ebooks. They are all released now. They each contain 15 recipes, including calories, and they are only $15 a piece. So you'll find those over on my nutrition coaching website, along with personal macros and calories and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things, and of course, don't forget to come on over Join us on Facebook, we'd love to have you. We are 20,000 members strong and growing, so come on over and join us. So let's jump into my week, the WW Workshop topic, and of course, this week's weigh-in. So it is actually Thursday when I'm filming today's video. You, of course, are seeing this on Friday. And while you're watching this, I am currently away for a couple of days for my birthday, my husband's birthday, and our anniversary in a place called Leavenworth, Washington. It is this cute little German village that they totally decorate and deck out for Christmas. It's really fun. We actually go every single year. If you didn't know, my husband's birthday is November 17th. Mine is November 18th. And we got married on his birthday, November 17th. So every year we celebrate all three things in one little trip to Leavenworth. This year I'm actually vlogging the trip so you'll be able to see what we did on our trip. Lots of fun video footage. You'll get to see the town, the Christmas lights, everything we did on our trip. So stay tuned for that video coming out shortly. But while you're watching this, we are away on a little getaway. So I ended up having to weigh in one day early, which is completely fine. Still should give me pretty accurate results from a f my first full week on the new personal points plan. Now, last week I was on the plan for four days before I weighed in. This week it's been an entire week. So we'll see how those results pan out. But before we do, let's go ahead and jump into this week's WW workshop topic. And this week's topic is how to grow, yes, grow your personal points budget. As you probably know, there are not one, not two, but three ways that you can increase your personal points every single day. I shared a lot about this topic in my three videos that I've put out about personal points. I'll go ahead and link all three videos down below for you. That should answer a lot of your questions, but we are going to dive a little bit deeper into the three ways that you can earn back points. Those three ways are by eating your non-starchy vegetables, by drinking your water, and by moving your body. All three of these ways to earn back points focus on healthy behavior and help gravitate us towards healthy food choices. They also focus on overall wellness and health when incorporating water and activity. So you may be wondering, how do I earn back points? So way number one is by drinking your water. You have to drink at least 60 ounces of water to earn one point. This is capped off at one point. So even if you drink more than 60 ounces of water, you're only able to earn back one point. Now you may know that I drink a gallon of water every single day. So even though I drink double what is recommended, I still only earn one point. So the best thing to do for water is to create a routine. You know that I fill my water gallon jug up every single night. I put some fresh lemons or limes in there and I pop that into the refrigerator so that I have nice cold water all day. I also can track my water by using the gallon water jug that is marked with time. So I can make sure that I'm on track for drinking my water and I also know when I've actually consumed an entire gallon of water. I will link my gallon jug and my half gallon junk down in the description box for you but I find that's a great way to not only measure my water but keep me on track for drinking my water. The other way you can earn back points is to eat non-starchy vegetables. So for every cup of non-starchy vegetables that you eat you have the opportunity to earn one point. Now this is not capped off so is the more vegetables you eat throughout the day the more personal points you earn. It has to be 
one cup of vegetables for one point. So maybe you have half a cup of broccoli, half a cup of carrots, that equals one cup, which then earns you back one point. If you want to know how to track your vegetables, I recommend that you watch my Q&A video because I go into detail and pop up images on how to track vegetables in the app. And the third and final way for you to earn back points is to move your body a little bit more. How many points you'll earn back depends on several factors, your height, your weight, your gender, your age, and the physical activity that you're doing. The heavier you are, the more calories it takes to do physical activity, so the more points that you're going to earn back. So everybody's activity point bank is going to be different. So yours will be dependent on you and your body. It also depends on the activity that you're doing. Some activities you burn more calories at than others, so you're likely to earn more points for those activities. All of your activity points are deposited into your weekly points. So you can use those weekly points however you choose, but you will earn points for doing physical activity. I know I had some questions and I know that a few of you have thought that, what if I earn back these points? Are these extra points I'm earning going to make me gain weight? This is actually a myth and here's why. Here's the truth of the matter. Your budget is designed so that you can add and spend points and still lose weight. WW spent months upon months testing out this new program, all the facets of the program, and it was proven over those months that even by adding points to your daily budget, people were still losing weight and being successful, and a lot of people have lost more weight on personal points than any other plan. It also is positive reinforcement for making good food choices, for drinking your water, eating your vegetables, and moving your body. It, it, helps you make good food choices, it helps you make good lifestyle choices, and choices that are sustainable while you lose weight and when you reach your weight goal. So think about how many points are you going to earn this next week and how are you going to earn back those points? Is it with water, vegetables, activity, or a little bit of everything. I have to say that I like this feature of the new program. I know that there's a little bit of controversy on whether it's developing healthy habits. The premise behind earning back points is to develop healthy habits, to make you drink your water, eat your vegetables, and move your body. So whether or not you take advantage of this feature of personal points, it is there for you to earn back points, to choose more healthy foods throughout the day. So now let's go ahead and jump into this week's weigh-in. Like I said, I am out of town now, but Prior to my trip, I had a great week. I worked out, I moved my body more every single day than I ever have before. I was more mindful of how many steps I was taking every single day. I even pulled my calf muscle at Jazzercise and still continued to work out and still continue to move my body. I drank a gallon of water every single day this last week and I made good food choices when it came to my vegetables. So I feel like I did a great job working the personal points program. And like I mentioned last week, I'm really liking the program. I feel like I am always full and satisfied where I was always hungry before on previous programs. I don't really feel that way now. I feel more satisfied than I ever have, which is really, really exciting, especially when you're trying to lose weight and you're in a calorie deficit and you're always hungry. So, so far, so good. I'm liking the program and my body's liking the program. When I stepped on the scale today, I am down another 1.1 pounds. I lost 1.2 pounds last week on the personal points plan. And again, I am down an additional 1.1 pounds. So I would say that it's working. I'm enjoying it. I have to say this is my favorite plan that I've been on for years and years. I really, really like the new personal points plan. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know down in the comments how you're liking the new plan, how your week was, did you gain, did you lose, was it what you expected, and what are you doing to earn back some extra points every single day? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this weigh-in, give it a big huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and of course it means a lot to me. And if you're watching and you're not subscribed, we would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out that description box down below for my recipe ebooks, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to all of my favorite healthy things, and of course, come on over, join us on Facebook. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you're having a great Friday. I hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye!